Question number one. Complete and write the following statements by choosing appropriate alternative given below. Number one. Public distribution system helps to put check on the prices of dash goods. Your options are essential luxury or prestige the answer is the public distribution system helps to put check on the prices of the essential goods number two a dash pricing structure was introduced under the targeted public distribution system your options are single, dual or triple. The answer is a dual pricing structure was introduced under the targeted public distribution system. Number three. A dash is essential to distribute food grains through public distribution system. Your options are identity card, ration card or Aadhaar card. The answer is a ration card is essential to distribute food grains through public distribution system. Number 4. Families below poverty line have dash ration card. Your options are yellow, orange or white. The answer is families below poverty line have yellow ration card. Number 5. A person who uses or consumes goods and services is called a dash. Your options are consumer, seller or producer. The answer is a person who uses or consumes goods and services is called a consumer. Number 6. In India, Dash is known as National Consumers Day. Your options are 24th December, 15th March or 1st July. The answer is in India 24th December is known as National Consumers Day. Question number 2. Write answers to the following questions in one or two sentences. Number one. What are the main objectives of public distribution system? The answer is the main objectives of the public distribution system are number one to provide essential goods to the consumers at reasonable and subsidized prices. Number two, to maintain a minimum nutritional status of the population. Number two, who are excluded from the benefit of public distribution system? The answer is, those families with white ration cards and whose annual income is more than rupees 1 lakh are excluded from the benefits of the public distribution system.
Number three, explain any two benefits of public distribution system in India. The answer is the benefits of the public distribution system in India are number one, it helps to provide subsidized food grains to the poor people. Number two, it provides employment to fair price shop owners, their employees and the other related workers. And number three, it reduces poverty and economic inequality. Number four, what is meant by food adulteration? The answer is a process through which substance is added to food item to increase its quantity is called food adulteration. Question number 3. Answer the following questions in 5 to 6 sentences. Number 1. Explain the drawbacks of public distribution system. The answer is the drawbacks of the public distribution system that is PDS are as follows. Number 1. Limited benefits to the poor. Under the PDS, food grains are provided to the ration card holders only. The seasonal migrant labor and homeless people do not get this benefit as they do not have a permanent residential address. Number 2. Regional disparities. Large number of the BPL families in the less developed states do not avail the benefits of the PDS. Number 3. Urban bias. The transport system in the villages is not efficient. As a result, the food grains and kerosene are not available in the fair price shops in the villages. And number four, Inefficient Food Corporation of India, FCI. The FCI is inefficient. The excess stock of food grains is not stored properly in the go-downs of FCI. There is scarcity of food grains in spite of increase in the production of food grains. Number 2. What are the measures suggested to remove the defects of public distribution system? The answer is The following measures have been suggested to remove the defects of the public distribution system. Number 1. Food banks. To establish food banks, and modernize the go-downs to properly store the food grains. Number two, extension of coverage. The coverage of the PDS should be extended so as to ensure that no one is left out from availing its benefit. Number three, restructuring of the PDS. The rationing officers should frequently visit the fair price shops 
to check malpractices and understand their problems. The flying squads should eliminate the bogus ration cards by conducting raids. The transport and the handling cost should be reduced. Number 3. What are the most common business malpractices? The answer is, the most common business malpractices are as follows. Sell of adulterated goods, sell of defective goods, use of false weights and measures, hoarding and black marketing, Charging more than the maximum retail price, that is MRP, and misleading advertisements. Number 4. Explain any two rights of consumers. The answer is Number 1. Rights to safety. Every consumer has right to be protected from the goods and services that are hazardous to health such as inferior electrical appliances or the harmful pesticides. Number 2. Right to be informed. Every consumer has right to have accurate information about quality, purity, quantity, price and the standard of goods and services. Number 5. Explain the duties of a consumer. The answer is, the duties of the consumers are as follows. Number 1. To be quality conscious and aware of rights to restrict business malpractices. Number 2. To be aware of misleading advertisements. Number 3. To insist the seller to give a bill, a receipt and a guarantee or warranty card. Number 4. To compare the quality, price, durability, after sale service etc. of the product. And number 5. To inspect carefully variety of goods and make the best choice. Number 6. Write about harmful effects of food adulteration on human health. The answer is, the harmful effects of food adulteration on human health are as follows. Number 1. Invisible food adulteration is very harmful as this cannot be removed easily. Number 2. It leads to serious health problems like cancer, paralysis, nausea, diseases of skin and eyes. Number 3. It can in extreme cases lead to the death of the consumer. Number 4. It adversely affects the health of society 
as a whole. And number five, food adulteration is a very serious crime.